Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. So when I heard of rucking, I thought to myself, this is something that I definitely should try. Rucking. All right. It sounded adult and dirty, but now if you're going to try it on the podcast, I think we're safe. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last week. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. It was really bad. Um, rucking is when you climb Camelback okay. and you put a backpack on and you load it up with, say, 40 pounds of weights Oof. so that this way you can burn more calories and get stronger. And you're going to do this? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it up Camelback. No, where, where are you going to start? Start that's, on flat land. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, that's true. You'd get the yeah, same benefit. Yeah, I have a weight vest, and I've done that. You yes. walk around the house a couple of times? Yeah, so anyway, it's a, bi- it's a big deal in Silicon Valley. Okay. So they say that all these, like, Mark Zuckerbergs of the world, that this is what the billionaires are now doing, rucking. Uh, rucking. So now this is a term that you can use. That's just putting a rock in a backpack. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I'm sure they buy specialty rocks that were calibrated. Oh, these from, are fancy backpacks. Oh, yeah. yeah. The biggest brand, it's like a $200 It can't just be a backpack. Satchel. Jan sport full of gravel from your <laughs> it driveway. <could> be. <laughs> I think it should be, honestly. <laughs> Rucking. 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 See, this is like, just, these are things that I like to pass along so that, you know, you can, you can have like high value clout. When you're with your family members and friends, especially around Thanksgiving, you can look at everybody and say, you know, thank you, Lord, for this meal. Has anybody tried rucking? That's a great <laughs> prayer. <laughs> it, it Amen. Amen. And on that happy note, welcome. It's Kim Cabello today. It's our Friday Fun Podcast, where it's not only just me entertaining you. We have, of course, two other folks, the A-team. Uh, Allie Seligman, she's our amazing content queen. Allie, what do you have? I'm going to tell you all the new things that just came to chat GPT and all the stuff you shouldn't buy in November because it's way more expensive. Oh, that's mm. some good stuff. What do you I'm have? Saving money. Uh, we're all working for Google for free, whether we like it or not. <laughs> yes. All of us. Even you. <laughs> Am I? While you're rucking, you will be working for Google for free. <laughs> well, even while I'm rucking. Mm-hmm. And that's, of course, Andrew Babinski, where you can hear him uh, every morning. What what time to what time? Uh, 5 to 10 Phoenix time on the iHeartRadio app. Just search for KEZ. And that's, and that's Andrew. All right. So there's two things that we need you to do. Number one, the best way for anyone to grow a podcast and includes this podcast is for you to tell one person, just one person about this podcast. I told Allie about the podcast right before it started. (laughs) Did my job. I was hoping that it was somebody other than anybody in this room. (laughs) All right, fine. I'll branch out. (laughs) Okay. And so, and number two is, you know, tell us your thoughts. Tell us what you think. We love getting your uh, emails and your posts and things like that. And you head over to commando.com. There's a link that says email Kim. All right. So we're going to start with the news. And I was reading the Wall Street Journal this past week. Doesn't it make you feel smart? Just oh, yeah. Just to say that. Yeah. Yes. You don't even have to do it. Just say you're doing it. If you write a headline, smart. say mm-hmm. that. Yes. Yeah. Or, you know, or I was uh, over at the MIT Review. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Tell me more. Okay. <laughs> well, the Wall Street Journal had a headline that, that there's a new term, not just rucking, there's a new term out there. Uh, and it's for people that never really update their devices. They're called the never updaters. <laughs> Where did they come up with that? I don't know. That is never so been. unique and Shocking. creative. Okay, and they did a whole story about people in their 20s that don't want to update their phones. Why? Because they don't want all the latest features. Oh, my gosh. Uh, they Maybe they don't have um, enough storage space. Okay. And so, but there's a good reason. One of the reasons why I'm bringing it up is that if you are listening and you are a never updater, that's just dumb. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> okay. You want to update all your devices. You pulled them in. Oh, that's me. And then you insulted them <laughs> by calling them dumb. <laughs> Pay attention because you're dumb. <laughs> okay. Now, I thought I would have guessed that it's people are worried because they don't trust the big phone companies. And they think once Apple updates my phone, they're going to put it in there. It's going to ruin the battery. It's going to make it slower. So I have to buy a new one. That's not why people don't no. update. No, they okay. have outdated hardware. Um, they maybe their battery levels too low, you know, whatever it may be that you don't get this update. But again, this is a new term. Okay. The never updaters. Okay. Okay. So we have millennials, Gen Zers, the boomers, the X. The ne- never updaters. The never updaters. Who are dumb. Okay. <laughs> you know, Barry asked me the other day, <laughs> why can't we say the R word anymore? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and your answer was? Don't. 
<laughs> you know, there was a guy on, uh, his name is Chris Broussard, and he's a sportscaster, and he just almost got canceled this week for using the R word. Oh, you boy. can't use it. You can't. No. Why would you? Why it's would you? There's, There's so many other words. Right. Dumb. Way better words. Well, he's just updater. He, he was just asking me because he's like, when he was a kid, you know, in the 1920s. Right. <laughs> he also, when he was a kid, had a wheel that he would hit with a stick and push it down the road as a game. Oh, no, he a still does of- that. <laughs> Yeah, when he gets sick of the hams, when he's done done hamming, he always gets so mad at me. Like he'll say something like, "You know, when I was a kid, I'm like, did they have like televisions then? Did they have radios? Were there cars?" But he's asking for it. You don't use the term "when I was a kid" unless you want to be perceived as super old. Super old, (laughs) exactly, exactly. Oh, speaking of updates, yes, are you ready? Is this a battery update? No, thank God. <laughs> no. Arnold Schwarzenegger was asked to update his laptop oh, to boy. Windows 10, and he said he couldn't do it because I still love Vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the only person who ever said that. <laughs> couldn't do the voice? Couldn't do an Arnold voice? I don't okay. know if I can do it either. Here, do it. Come on. I'll be back. I, could, I still love Vista, baby. <laughs> Okay. No, it's not very no, good. No, but I tried. Good. And that's, what, that's what's important. Good job. Get me to the chop off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to give you a participation reward. Thank you. You know, you get a little trophy with a mic on it. I appreciate that. Just, thanks for being here. Yeah, I'll throw it in with uh, my rocks while I'm rucking. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what do you got for news? Uh, Google is uh, having all of us all work, whether we like it or not. And they're not paying us. I'm sure all of us have gone to a website where we, when you're trying to get past the next step, whether it's oh, a paywall or logging in, it so wants annoying. to make sure you're not a robot. The captchas. Very good. Recaptcha. Mm-hmm. And that company is owned by Google. They bought it a couple of years ago. And what I noticed a, a while ago, that it was always numbers on the sides of houses. Yes. And I was oh. like, Why? Why is it? Why are they choosing this? And then it changed. Everything changed. Then it went to intersections, and you had to spot the bus. And I don't know why there's 37 buses in one intersection. <laughs> you had to spot the bus. And then it was like traffic lights. Bikes, too. Yes, traffic lights. Yeah. The walk, the lanes on the ground. Well, that's all intentional because what they're doing is they're taking that information and they're using it in the Waymo vehicle <gasps> to teach the Waymos to know the difference between the back of a Ford Escalade and just regular asphalt. Whoa. And we're doing all their work for free. For them. I know. Isn't that crazy? They wouldn't admit to it until they kind of, kind of, sort of, kind of admitted to it. Yeah. And now that it's out there, they're not denying it. And it, it's going around the internet like wildfire. Wow. I thought that is I really was interesting, though. identifying is. bikes just to get into a website, but really, no, I was, I was working. <laughs> You're like, this guy, this programmer just likes bikes for some reason. He just loves <laughs> them. But the fact of the matter is, if we are going to get self-driving cars we, and they have to learn, you know, the difference between a bike <laughs> and another car, well, I'll go ahead and work for free. It's in our best interest. Right. It's going to save a couple of lives. Yeah. But seriously, Google throws a couple shekels. Have you two seen those recaptures where you have to, it's like a little figure and it says point it in the same direction? Have you gotten those no, ones? No, I haven't gotten that one. I've gotten the puzzle piece Yeah, the one. puzzle piece. I, I like those much better. I get those wrong all the time. I have to switch it to a different kind, the audio or something. I never can line it up correctly. Oh, I'm pretty good no. at those. I don't know if it's something wrong with my phone or what. Maybe I can't it's just get you. That. Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably a never updater. You're <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> dumb. <laughs> You know, it's okay, Andrew. We love you anyway. Appreciate it. You know, speaking of, um, I don't know why this just kind of came into my head, but Mike James. Yeah. He's listening to our podcast. Hi, Mike. And he's in Vietnam right now. Yes. Uh, and he's on the beach. Is he in Vietnam? Well, he went there from Thailand for a little, oh, okay. a little vacation. Okay. Do you get his text message videos? Yes. So, Mike, if you're listening, I don't know if you have this automated or not. But when you send us the videos of all the pictures, it's a bunch of really cool pictures and then a bunch of personal ones at the end. <laughs> oh, so I think no. you should edit those a little bit better. You know, I didn't look at the end. You don't the, watch till the no, end. I'm no, sorry, Mike. I'm sorry. How personal are we talking? Not not scandalous personal, <laughs> but definitely not. Here's my vacation photos uh, part of that group. Okay, let me tell you. Beautiful. I don't know if I could have done the last vacation that he did. Which okay. one? The one getting going from Thailand to Vietnam. Okay. Okay. So first, he gets on a tanker carrier boat. Okay. okay. Big boat. A big boat. I mean, like I'm not talking like a cruise ship. 
No, tanker. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking it about sounds filthy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm talking about like where like there are cargo bins and everything on there. Sure. Okay. Then you go down underneath, and then there are bunk beds for like eighty people. Oh, and how and long is this boat ride? Overnight. Ew. And so you are sleeping like in bunk beds that are metal and like little tiny mat. Right. It's like a water hostel. Okay. Okay. And then <laughs> so- and then you sleep overnight. And then that's when you got to the next. Does he next know day. we have airplanes? I don't know. Mike, take the plane. I bet it was cheap. But everything over there is cheap. I mean, he's like a millionaire over there. Here's the thing, though. Would you rather be on... A boat or a very cheap plane ride? Plane ride. I don't want to sleep with eighty other people underneath. Mm. Well, his last Amazon things. That his last shipped. video was on a was on a plane too. I mean, so he went on the boat, he went on a plane, and all this other stuff. And the for some reason they kept this Air Thailand plane like way at the end of the runway, and so you had to take a bus. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his own version of planes, trains, and automobiles yeah. going on here. Anyway, we digress. We love Mike. Um, and we are playing Mike's videos uh, during the Kim Commando show. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So if you're a community member, you can see all of Mike's videos. Love it. All right. So what do you got, Al? Chat GPT. Love it. Yeah, we're talking about it here this week. Uh, now it is Chat GPT for Turbo. Uh, pretty good name. What for does turbo? It, for turbo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean? Okay, there are a few changes. So before ChatGPT, only new things up until September 2021. That's a long time ago. So pretty outdated. Now it knows things through April 2023. Okay. okay. So it, better. It, it doesn't know about like a new iPhone. No. It didn't know Apple Taylor Ocean. Swift and Travis Kelsey were dating. It did not no. unless... Still doesn't. No. Still doesn't know. No, it doesn't know. No, it still doesn't know. But a lot more, you know, two more years of data, which is good. Uh, it can take a lot more text into it, the equivalent of like 300 book pages. So before you were pretty limited in how much content you could feed Wasn't it. Was it 400 characters at some point and then it got bigger? Yeah, now it that is. Was Twitter. <laughs> X, 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 please. Sorry. Gosh, Kim. Uh, it's better at following instructions, which all of us who've had that moment of like, please listen to me, really prefer. So if you tell it something like, always give me my responses like this, now it'll do it a lot better, which is nice. Uh, this is also really good for people who might do things like use it for coding or you know something really specific where you wanna make sure it's that format. And one of the biggest complaints, there is a drop down where you can say, this is how I want my answer. So maybe I want to do an image. And so you're using Dolly. Maybe I just want text. That's going away and now it will Basically, based on your prompt, it'll give you the exact kind of response. So if you say, draw me a picture of Kim Commando on a bike uh, with her hair in a ponytail, okay, you'll get an image back. You don't have to select that. So it's a lot smarter now. You get access to those tools. Let me tell you, it's not that great. (laughs) I mean, you're making it sound like this is the most wonderful thing (laughs) since mankind. You don't think chat GPT is great? Oh, no, I think it's great. But this new update, it's, it's either on or off. That's what I'm finding. Mm. And so like yesterday I had it do, I, I wanted to use a, uh, an emoji in the newsletter. So I said, give me a fitness emoji. It drew me a fitness emoji. Whereas before I just get like the little guy sure. lifting right. weights. So today I thought, you know, I'm going to have it do a meme. Okay. Um, that uh, the meme was, let me see. I have fond memories of, as a child, my father rolling me down the hill in a tire those were good years. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, the tire is a good year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So it tried to so it drew like this this girl, little girl in a tire, but it was flat. Yeah. And so I had to tell it was vertical, but it's still got a flat. It could not get the words. Oh no, language is still. Yeah, yeah. Okay. letters and numbers okay. and fingers. Yes. Oh, I was just gonna say the little girl yeah. had seven. I, I kept it. She had she had seven fingers Only on one. Seven. Hand. <laughs> yes. That's, <improvement>. That's nice. <laughs> so, yeah. so you know, but but it is impressive. That yeah, it it's more, know. it's easier to use. Yes, results may vary, right? Especially if you're doing something with an image and a person, it's just oh, going to be bad. hard. It's not there yet. It's not ready. I've been told that you're supposed to, when you start, say, chat GPT, every time I give you a prompt, please rank my prompt one to 10 on whether it's good for you or not. And so it, you'll ask it a question, it will give you the answer, and then it will rank it. That was a two prompt. That was a well, nine prompt. that's a good prompt. idea. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. And then you can learn from yourself basically saying, oh, if I do it this way, it, yeah. th- it likes that. It thinks it's a nine. So I'm going to keep 
doing the prompts that way. Oh, see, I, see, and I I have it that because um, I I ask it to help me write the trivia, and so they came up with this whole trivia question about in April of two thousand seven, the Guinness Book of World Records was two guys in Venezuela uh, doing a Wi-Fi signal that went 186 miles. And I'm like, whoa, yeah. that's really something. I mean, so, you know, we can't even get Wi-Fi like to the back bedroom, you Was know? It not true? <laughs> well, the, it didn't have all the facts correct. <laughs> and it Surprise. wasn't a, it wasn't 186 miles. It was 236 miles or well, something like that. That's even bigger. Whoa. I know, but it's like, so you can't really trust it. No, for yet. things like that, no, it's, it's not reliable. But you should try it. What, so yeah. How are you using it? I use it to shortcut things for me sometimes if I have notes that are, maybe I've got bullet points and I might say, hey, turn this into an email or turn this into, you know, something we can post on the website, a blog post, whatever, and then I clean it up. So it can expand things for you. It can clean things up too. Um, it's also good at summarizing. And now you can put in a link and say, yeah, that's hey, really good. this, you know, 5,000 word article summarized this for me. Oh, wow. That's a really nice one. That is very cool. Yeah, that's a good use for it. Um, yeah. Well, I've been using it lately to write email mm -hmm. because I don't like to write long emails. <laughs> you don't. Okay. I mean, it, I just think it's a complete waste of time. But, but do you think you seem unprofessional if you don't write a long email, if you just do a quick one? Like, why I, aren't you just writing short emails then? I would, I like to write short emails, but there are certain people around me who like long emails. Okay. And so they want, the recipient. they want detailed explanations. And so I'll put... Their, their email that goes a mile long <laughs> into chat GPT. Oh, to get, oh, so you're reading emails too through it, not just writing. No, no, them. no, no. I've already kind of read this email. Okay. I scanned it. I'm not going to read an email longer than three <laughs> I paragraphs. Scanned it. So do you put it in and say, write a reply, write a reply that, do you give it direction? Write a reply that says this is okay. Yes. Okay. And that are th these are all valid points. <laughs> da, 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 da. And I'm finding like that is a real time saver for me. Um, I don't need that. So you can just send me the short emails. <laughs> okay. Just for the record. You do get the short ones. I do. I do. One <laughs> sentence. That's all I need. Sometimes it's like, and I used to make fun of my mother that she would put like in the subject, like. The question. <laughs> she was like, Kim, uh, go on to the DMV and get me a new driver's license because I lost mine. message the exact same thing as the <laughs> yes. subject line. Yes. Or empty. <laughs> but now I'm doing the same thing. Like, oh my gosh, I've turned into my mom. Yeah. <laughs> you always will. Yeah. All right. So what do you have coming up, uh, Andrew's first tip? We have a tip for the new exciting Apple Watch feature that everyone is seeing commercials about. <gasps> bum, 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 tip, bum. Tip, double pinch. And then what do you got out? What you should and shouldn't buy this month if you want to save some money. And then at the end, we're not doing a joke. No? We're uh -huh. not. I found this crazy AI song we're going to listen to. All right, cool. Thanks. So stay right where you are. Okay, so let me ask you both. What, 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 what do all these names have in common? Okay. okay. Uh, NASA, the FTC, the FBI, and Morgan Stanley, uh, Google... Apple, Amazon. What are they? So they were all initials until we got to Google, Apple, and Amazon. <laughs> so I was like feeling really confident that I had an answer, and now I got nothing. <laughs> I think I know. Don't I, say. Okay, I'm not going to say. Okay, uh, these are all subscribers of our free newsletter. Oh hey. wow! Yeah. Yes. How do you know Google's subscribing to your newsletter? They've got an at Google email address. Well, yes. So do I. You have an at Gmail, my friend. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. So it's just us. people that work at these companies. Yeah, and they're all getting tech smart, okay? And they're getting like a surprise party in their inbox every single morning <laughs> without the confetti, okay, of course. We okay. should try confetti. Yeah, you can make that happen. Yeah. Yes. And so, you know, so these people, they're smart because instead of like mindlessly scrolling the mundane mm. tech news sites and all the other news sites to get up to date, they get it the easy way because I handpick all the great content every single morning. And so if you're not already getting the newsletter, you're just missing out. Almost a half a million people are getting it every single day, except for you, Andrew? <laughs> Who? Me? <laughs> yes. I work for NASA. So whoever <laughs> is at NASA, that's mine. Andrew okay. at NASA. Yeah, Andrew. NASA.com? Yeah, I've oh. been there a while, so I didn't even need a last name. <laughs> I got it. So you want to sign up over at getkim.com. Once again, that's getkim.com. You brought up the confetti on the email. I got an email. My radio station, KEZ, we just launched Christmas music this week. 
and it's 24 hours day Christmas music and everyone mm-hmm. wanted to celebrate. And I got an email from like the head of something and the email had fireworks going off on the top of it while I read it. I didn't know you could do that in email. I just thought it was so a text annoying. thing. annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we shouldn't figure out how to do I this. I don't know if it was an Outlook thing, yeah, but I opened was. the email and it's just... <laughs> I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> but you're like, but thank you, Mr. President. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Great job. You an amazing job with that email. <laughs> we should circle back and talk about that later. So, so you know, Barry and I, we sometimes we have these interesting conversations. I mean, and well, like, why well, can't I use the R word anymore? <laughs> Let's not mention that one We're anymore. We're not going to mention that one anymore. It's just a small callback. <laughs> That's all. Um, you know, so we were sitting next to each other and Barry said to me, you know, how many bars do you have? And I said, five. On his phone. I had five bars. I said, how many bars do you have? He said, I have one. You know, I swear, he's always like Charlie Brown. I mean, it's just, <laughs> you only have one bar. Well, that's what he said. How come are I'm- you Lucy with the football? <laughs> I totally am. You are. Okay. Are. And so he's like, well, maybe it's my phone. You know, you gave me your old phone. Oh my you gosh. Broke it's it, the same phone. You know, and this is it. You and, broke it. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, and it never worked. No thing in tech ever worked for me. And that's really kind of a weird thing because a lot of times it just doesn't. And my mind's like, oh, everything's great in my world. Right. You know? But you had no idea why you had one bar and you had five. So I said, uh, let's try a field test. Oh. And he's like, You made him run out to the middle of a field. <laughs> yes. Said, he's still there <laughs> with the, looking for the football. <laughs> Field test mode. This is really something. This is like only insider people know about. Do you know about field test mode? No, I'm not an insider. Okay. He's not All an right. insider. So what you do is you, t- you open up your phone and you dial star 3001 pound 12345 pound star. 0% chance I will ever remember that. <laughs> Lucky for you, if you go to commander.com yes. and search field test, mm-hmm. It'll be you'll there. find that code. Copy and paste, baby. And then what you do is you look under like... Signal power received. What, a special screen pops up? Yeah. Yes. It's like a secret screen. Okay. It's, it feels like you're like in the settings. You really are in the settings. Yeah, it's, it's like, cool. you know, like, it's like you are that guy or gal that reads the MIT review. I mean, seriously. <laughs> you do that. Of this. course, I field tested this weekend. Uh, <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> and then you look at numbers, and the closer the number is to zero, the better the signal is. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I did like, Barry and I are sitting right next to each other. Oh, okay. boy. We both have Verizon on these phones. And, of course, a mine pops up and it's like zero. You know, Just <laughs> flat like, zero. Oh, it's like perfect signal. Okay. Barry pops up and it's like negative 100. <laughs> you know? That's why I had one bar. <laughs> so, why did you give him such a crappy phone? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so... So basically what, you, what what it is, I just, and then I turned off his phone and then, you know, powered it back on and then he was closer to zero. So the bottom line here is that, you know, if that ever happens to you, you should try the field test mode. I mean, this is something, again, you're going to be around your relatives over the holidays and then you can just look at it and say, hey, you know, have you ever tried field test mode on your phone? And that could also be, like, be a good pickup line. Yes. Hey, baby, want to go back there and field test with me? <laughs> so, yep. in case you want to, <laughs> it in, works. Ca- in case you want to try it, uh, it's star three zero zero one pound one two three four five pound star. Won't remember it. I'll go to <laughs> commando dot com. You got it. All right. Don't you feel smarter for knowing that? I do. Absolutely. Actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, tell us about the Apple Watch, Andrew. So you've seen the commercial, right? This trendy songs playing. And there's just a hand with that new Apple Watch on it, and people are doing the pinch, and the double pinch, and the clench, <laughs> and the double clench, <laughs> the clench to activate their phones. And we were watching it, and the woman I'm dating, she's like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, I think you actually already have that on your watch. And it turns out you do. If you have an Apple Watch 4 or later, you can just go to your settings, go to accessibility, go to activated touch, and there are four options that you can change to control your watch with your fingers. It's the same exact as this brand new feature that Apple's selling, <laughs> which is the single pinch, the double pinch, the clench, and the double clench. You can answer your phone. You can respond to text messages. Can you define the clench for our friends who are listening and Just making a can't fist. see you? Okay. Make a fist. Yeah. Well, so you're saying pinch is clear. Everyone knows what a pinch a is. A double pinch. I think a pinch is pretty clear. But then if you close your hand, like power to the people, if you close your hand once, that you can have clench. an action connected to that and you can do the double clinch as well so you already have it on your watch don't Incredible. go buy a new one no 
It's called assistive touch. Oh, assistive. Thank you. How sad is that of Apple, though? That they is bad. They have to shill this new feature that they've had for a long time. Maybe they made it better. But they have no innovation. If I were had to go get a new phone tomorrow, it would not be an Apple. It Why? would not be an iPhone. Because I want something different. It's the same thing over you and know, over and over the again. The Pixel phone looks pretty sweet. I know. I want the new one. Do you? I I'm like on the a... foldable ones. Those are cool. They look very cool. I, I don't think foldables are quite, quite ready yet. But I want one someday. They're cool. But you, you think that the screen quality is not going to be good enough? Like, what, what aren't they at to the point? Uh, well, the thing about me, I drop phones okay. quite a bit. Uh, and you can't really have a case on those. You can't. They don't. I'm not sure in the. Not, not in the true protective sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think I'm just too clumsy. I'm sure for some people it's fine. Uh, yeah. I don't know. They're just too expensive too right now. You should see the case on her phone. It's like bumpers. <laughs> It's like, okay. that's, that's true. It adds like 13 ounces. Yeah, but it's I like, don't break my phone. That's true. All right. So Allie, what should we buy and not buy in November? Oh, November is a big sale month, right? So it feels like everything is on sale. Feels like everything is cheaper. Some things are not good to buy right now. So first we'll do the yes, you should buy this. Actually cheaper in November. Home furnishings. Who knew? Uh, TVs and laptops. Of course, with Black Friday, TVs are as cheap as they come. Vacuums, including the robot ones, kitchen stuff, cookware, appliances, small appliances. That stuff is all on great price. Toys. No, wait till December. They get cheaper the closer to Christmas. Yes, you might miss out if you want to buy the hottest thing, but you're not going to save money if you're buying that anyway, right? Fitness equipment. Do not buy that in November. When do we think that gets cheaper? January? Yes, January, <laughs> yes. of course. Uh, even cheaper, in February, once the hype has died down and all the you know resolutioners have, have purchased what they want. Space heaters, because it's cold and it's getting colder. And so there's just more demand, right? So they get more expensive. If you're not currently freezing, wait until the end of February on those. Or wait till the summer. I bought like yes. a pallet Clearance. of space there you go. for like three bucks a piece and then just waited until the following winter and resold them all. Did you really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And they look like old timey radios. They were nice. Oh, I have one like that. Yeah, it's probably, white. Did you buy it on Facebook? Because you probably bought it from me. No, I don't. I don't Facebook. <laughs> Andrew, uh, I didn't know you had all these talents. That yes. she's it's awesome. a side hustle. Right. Yeah. Cameras. If you have someone in your life who wants a digital camera, which my husband just did. Uh, I didn't know people still wanted cameras, but he did. Um, January is the best time. So wait until the holidays are over for that one. Jewelry, like nice jewelry, extra expensive this time of year. So wait for that. Actually, the best time for jewelry, March, April, and May. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, not February. No, no. Valentine's no, Day. no, no. Right after Valentine's Day. Exactly. And then one more that always gets extra expensive right now, luggage. So wait for that. Usually the fall, kind of end of summer, early fall is the best because summer vacation's over. Nobody's planning their winter travel yet. So that's when you get those. See, this is another fun fact that you would not have known otherwise. You would have been buying luggage today. I don't. I don't. I haven't bought luggage in twenty years. Yeah. You know what? When you're when you say, I was just thinking that. When's the <laughs> last time I actually bought luggage? You my use thought, the same ones over and over. Yeah. My thought was, when do you know when it's time to buy? I have a hard shell suitcase. Yeah. So it literally could last forever. But, but everybody says, well, it adds so much weight. And now that they charge you for being over fifty pounds, you don't. You want to have a lightweight bag. No, well, I guess I'll just put one less shirt in there. Yeah. Are you ever almost at the limit? Oh, always. Oh, are you? I have two children that bring uh, the entire playroom. Right, right, right. I'm at 49.8 pounds every single time <laughs> I travel. Do you have one of those little uh, scale things? Yeah, those are cool. Those yeah. little hooks that you, you yeah. know what you're talking about, but Kim? We just had yes. that in the newsletter. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah those but, things you know, are really cool. It, it always, I always laugh, though, when you're standing there and the guy, gal or guy behind the ticket counter says, it's, uh, you know, you're at 52.2 pounds. Okay. And then they say, take some out and put it in your carry-on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm like, but it's still going. It's the right same, the same stuff. Place. Same way. Yeah. Okay. They got to follow the rules. <laughs> All right. Coming up, we're going to talk about Airbnb. I got a crazy story about that. Um, Allie, you have some keyboard shortcuts? I sure do. Yeah. And then I have a great song that we're going to play. And no, it's not me singing. But maybe Aww. next time. Is it throat singing? <laughs> no, we did that last <laughs> Oh, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All 
All right. So this is Kim Commando today. Wherever you get your podcast, make sure that you give us a great five star review. We're still looking for the simps. Are we still looking for the simps? No, October's over. We didn't pick a simp. Oh, we got to pick a simp. You guys got to get these simps some hats. Oh, you know what? Next Allie, week. It's up to you. Okay. I'll do yeah. it. Pick the simp. Okay. And there is that guy that, that sent My his... simp. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you win. <laughs> that, no, that guy, Kevin, that sent us eight, like three or four reviews. Oh, Kevin. Yeah. And then also there's a community member. Mm-hmm. Uh, screen name is like Lutefisk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lutefisk? Uh, <laughs> yes. The <laughs> northern United States fish yes. dish made with lye? <laughs> yes, that's, that's it. Right. That's it. That Yum. person. They're going to win too. So uh, if you're listening, we're going to reach out to you. And we then we'll, we'll pick like three other simpers. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a simper? I don't think it's a simper. You're just a simp. Okay. You can't be a simper because you're a simp. I think you can be the simpy. You can be the simpiest. <laughs> <laughs> you can be the simpiest. Um, okay, Airbnb, nightmare or great place? Both. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a toss up because sometimes you go in, you go, "Wow, this is great! I can't believe I got it for so cheap." And then you go, "Oh, I know why I got this for so, <laughs> so cheap. cheap." Exactly. Uh, Luis Lopez. He was just trying to, trying to get his place ready for the next guest. And so he's like walking around, you know, kind of surveying the place. And he's got his vacuum out and things like that. And then he goes to vacuum under the bed and the vacuum just wouldn't go under the bed. There was a person Uh underneath the bed. Were they hiding or just passed out? I think a little bit of both. Okay. Okay. So he told the guy to get out. Guy didn't get out. So he had to call the cops. To actually get him out from under the bed. Did they finally get him out? Not like that lady that's still squatting in that house in oh, California. Oh, no, she's gone. She got out? No, oh, she is. Yeah, for 573 days. Wow. Finally, they did the right thing. Yes. This is, this is in case you don't know, this is a woman who was just kind of camped out at a Brentwood, LA uh, guest house. And because of the rules in LA and the rental property regulations and things, she could just stay there for free. They finally got rid of her, though. Good for them. Yeah. Only took two years. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would have been so pissed. Government in action. Oh, I would have been so upset. I saw another lady. There's a couple. They have a one-year-old. They rented out a room for a week, and the lady won't leave. She's just in there for months. Where is that? It's. I think it's in Tennessee. I can't imagine being that person. Like, knowing that you're in someone's house, they don't want you there. It's, and you don't care. You don't and care. you don't care. You just don't care. Imagine you, not caring. No, I can't. I, I care can't. too much. I care too much. Oh, too. yes, kumbaya. Okay, uh, let's go to <laughs> letters from listener mail. I have one from William Howard in Florida. Okay. Uh, he says, I have my own solution for a speaker device, Kim. I'm the tech guy in the house. Uh, I set my Amazon Echo device microphone to off. And then I install the Amazon Alexa app on our phones and tablets. This way we can fire up the app and make our requests and then shut them down. This way Amazon's not listening. Oh, okay. That's pretty clever. But then you got to pull it out every time. I know. Just, I would just, I don't know if that's worth it. No, that's the convenience. Uh, okay, let's see. Mary Kemp Hughes in Lewisburg, Ohio. Hi there, Mary. I thought this was great. Uh, she's this because she saw this in the newsletter. I saw the Best Buy pressure cooker recall in your newsletter. Mine is under an extended warranty until February 2024. Not a word from Best Buy, not even an email. Wow. I'm now registered for replacement parts. See, that's one Good. of the benefits of getting the newsletter. We tell you about all these recalls. Not We're Andrew. Pr- his pressure cooker is going to explode in his face. It's going to kill me. <laughs> uh, Leah Marie in Wooster, Ohio. Okay. Leah writes, Hi, Kim. Just a comment. I can no longer eat coleslaw. I was in the middle of eating it when you told the story of the DoorDash delivery man (laughs) who spoiled a customer's lunch with his deranged sexual act. (laughs) Spoiled? Wait. That's such a great sentence. (laughs) It is. It's poetry. Let's let's read it again. I was in the middle of eating my coleslaw when you told the story of the DoorDash delivery man who spoiled... A customer's lunch with his deranged sexual act. (laughs) Beautiful. Okay. I gagged (laughs) and threw the rest of my creamy (laughs) coleslaw. Yeah. She may have got away with it. She was eating like beef jerky or something. (laughs) But creamy coleslaw is just a bad coincidence. (laughs) Too close. (laughs) Even though I made the coleslaw myself. (laughs) <laughs> she still didn't trust it. Yeah, no. she, she was triggered. <laughs> oh, I'm, a, I'm a fairly new listener, 
And I've been learning and enjoying. Thank you for all you and the team do for all of I us. I love this Leah. So Thanks for hilarious. writing, Leah. That's great. I like Leah, too. Uh, Allie, what do you got? Okay, this is from Alan Rosenberg. Alan has been listening to you, Kim, for 30 years. Is that possible? No, but that's okay. okay. <laughs> Maybe you just was lit, sitting in your backyard for the years yeah. before you started doing a radio <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> Peeping Tom. <laughs> so he listens to Kim Commando today. Uh, this past weekend, you had a woman call in with a problem logging in with her fingerprint. I have a Pixel 7 and the fingerprint reader sucks. This is a common complaint with Pixel phones. Uh, yes, he says it's supposed to be the flagship phone. The fingerprint reader is the worst of any phone I have ever had. I read online that I should touch the side of my nose and then touch the fingerprint reader. It works beautifully. Something with the oil on your nose. If you have a way to contact the caller, let her know. Um, gross, but cool. You're supposed to pick your nose before you unlock your phone. Well, no, kind you of get the, the size. Get the so you get a little bit of the okay. natural oil on your skin and it helps the phone read your fingerprint a little better. There are other ways. We actually got a message from someone once who said they discovered that if they licked their finger and then touched the reader, it worked. That's way grosser. That's gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> your phone is filthy. Uh, we were touching the phone second. But you touch the, how how many times you unlock your phone? No, you go every time you unlock your really, phone. Really, you you, you wash, wash your, your hands. <laughs> oh, just the finger. <laughs> yeah, sure. Wash your finger. <laughs> that sounds like the tip too, where if you can't get your if your battery's dying on your uh, car remote, you put it to your chin and click it, and it, your head becomes like an antenna amplifier. What? I have it, never heard that. I've never it heard absolutely that works. We tested it in a parking lot. Like we were like six spots away. The car worked seven spots away. The car, the remote didn't work. And we put it up to our chin. Boom. Unlock the doors. Incredible. Wow. Your head's an antenna. It's a greasy nosed antenna. <laughs> Wait, you know what? That's almost as good as like a field test. That's a, that's a great tip right there. It really there. is. If you don't want to use your nose oil, a couple things that help. Now for the Pixel, yes, it is one of the worst fingerprint readers. So maybe the oil is the best solution. I don't know. Um, make sure you clean it once in a while. Like just rub your shirt or whatever on that little reader. Uh, the angle of your finger matters. If you're just like real quick, swipe in and it doesn't get your fingerprint. Yeah, you have to really push your finger onto it. And then worst case, you can always go through your settings and have it remap your fingerprint okay. to make sure you get all the the angles. And usually it works a little better after that. Couldn't you just use your nose? Forget <laughs> bypass the finger altogether? Nose print. Yes. Because it's already all greasy, I guess. Just go straight to the nose. <laughs> might, be, might be that. Might be that. Sure. All right. So sense. Andrew, what's your letter? Oh, well, first of all, I got a letter that was sent to me by Maddie, and I forgot to print it. So sure. I don't know who it's from, right? but I wanted to answer their question. They were asking about football and that I was wrong. They told me I was wrong, that Prime is not the only place to get Thursday Night Football. Oh, I remember. Football. Th uh, yeah, I sent you. I sent this one in. You sent that to me? Okay. Yes. I mean, I didn't write it. I mean, I read it, <laughs> and then I sent it to Maddie to give to you. Okay. However, I got it. <laughs> okay. I got it. <laughs> And they said that the, it wasn't true and you could sign up for NFL Plus Premium and get all the primetime games, which you can. They're not wrong. Okay, directly through If you the sign NFL. up for the NFL Plus Premium, you get all primetime games, which is Thursday night, Sunday night, Monday night. You get all of your local broadcast games. So what's ever on your local CBS and NBC that you get over the antenna, here's the problem. You only can get it on your phone. Uh, no kidding. You can't. Cast it to a television. I was just going to say you can't. No. And if you have the premium membership and you get the app that's on your television or your Xbox or whatever, they block those features. They're not on the app for the TV. It is only on the phone or tablet. That's so lame. It was very Come lame. Come on, everybody. Let's watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on my shoulders. It's a tie game. Uh, my girlfriend, she's, she's getting into football, and she was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get this. And she paid for the whole year. Oh. And then realized that you cannot cast. Uh, do you know how much it is? 50 bucks a year or $6.99 a month. That's lame. It is lame because it's only available on a tablet or the phone. So that's why I never recommended it before. But you are right. There is another place to get Thursday Night Football. Uh, this one is from Manford in Honolulu. Aloha to Andrew. Like him. I love <laughs> football. My wife hates football. I really should have married someone else. Ooh. But now we have six kids, so it's too late for that. My question is pretty simple. <laughs> what <laughs> in the world? 
<laughs> just tell us everything, okay? <laughs> Yikes. My question is pretty simple. I have two screens for the games in my garage. Is it worth adding a third screen? Mahalo. Okay, before you answer it. Yes. She has delegated him, or he has gotten himself in the garage. Right. But at least he got a second TV, and he's away from the six kids. Imagine and the wife. Trying to, <laughs> trying to watch football with six kids crawling on you. I have two, and it's impossible. Oof. Uh, the way my setup is, is that I, and I think I said this last week, I have a main television like everybody else. And then I have a huge painting on the wall. And then behind the painting is a hidden television, 75 inch hidden TV. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you have to unlock it and then you have. How big is the main TV? The main TV is 75 inches. Okay. And they're five feet apart. So on sports nights that NFL red zone will go up on the main TV. Okay. And then the Cardinals game or the other local game will go up on the secondary TV. I couldn't personally wouldn't find a use for three TVs. Like if I go to a sports bar or a sports book in a casino, I get just too, too much <laughs> overload. <laughs> so two is enough for me to handle. But if you do have YouTube and you have the direct TV package where you get all the games, I could see where three TVs was going at my, my son's mom's house. There's four boys that live there. They all play Fortnite at the same time. Wow. And in one room, they have four 65-inch televisions. Oh, my gosh. On top of each other. And I went in there to watch them play, and I couldn't do it. I could not handle <laughs> too much all of that at once. Yeah, that sounds like sensory overload. I started yeah. to panic. Uh, <laughs> I personally think two is enough. You put one on Red Zone and then one on the game that you're focusing on. But you have to remember, this man doesn't like his wife. Or his children. His children, yeah. his life. It's so bad. this is, he's in that garage. Get yourself the third TV, man. Yeah, it's a good point. Maybe go up to 14 TVs. Just to, <laughs> just, just to feel something. Yeah, be totally surrounded by them. <laughs> but seriously, talk to your wife. Yeah. <laughs> Once. <laughs> just twice. one time. She's a nice lady. <laughs> she is. She gave you six kids. She, you know that's a, that's, that's hard a work. It's a lot. It's a yeah. lot of work. And stop looking up your old exes online. Come and on, we, we know, You know he's doing it. Oh, of course he is. Of course he, he is. He's telling the world he hates his wife. No. <laughs> the grass isn't greener. No. Never. Sometimes. Kim! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm, st I'm kidding. The children. Think of the children. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, coming up, Allie, you're going to be giving out a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts. And then I have a wonderful song at the end. I know you're all wishing that I could sing it, but I'm not. Hey, just a quick reminder, two things. Number one, tell one person about our podcast. And number two, make sure that you sign up for the free Commando Show newsletters. And if you are already signed up, make sure that you, you know, share out that referral link. It's at the bottom of every single newsletter you get. It's totally unique. And one referral equals one entry to win fabulous prizes. Like uh, you could win a $1,200 device, Apple or Windows, your choice. You could win an iPad, see things you're missing out. You could get a, an official Kim Commando Show tote bag. I'm not eligible to win. That's work right. Here, you That's can true. buy some. Thanks, sure. appreciate it. Yeah, I and won't you know, buy it in November. No, you can buy official Commando Show merch now. I understand. I shouldn't <laughs> have to. <laughs> But if he wanted to, Kim, where would he go? You'd go to kimcommando.etsy.com. Wow. Kimcommando.etsy.com. And you want to know how the Etsy store happened? Mm -mm. <laughs> I was getting my hair done. Okay, and when I get my hair done, this is, it's a process. Sure. I mean, it's not like 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, it takes forever. I used to joke that my wife getting her hair done was a part-time job. It is. Because yes. it took that long. It takes forever, like three hours, four hours. That's ridiculous. It is. It's ridiculous. Yes, yes it is. And so I'm sitting there, I'm thinking like, oh, what am I going to do? And I'm like, oh, I'll open an Etsy shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so that was like on a Saturday. And on Monday, I go to Allie. I'm like, Allie, look, we now have an Etsy store. <laughs> go ahead and run it. <laughs> and she's like, well, what do you mean we have an Etsy store? I was like, Since when? I'm like, I was getting my hair done and I opened an Etsy shop. And we have like 10 orders and everything's in there. Like whether you want a hoodie, you want yeah. a blanket, whatever, maybe. A tote. And there's one guy that bought a t-shirt and he gave me a two star review. What happened? And now I have a two-star review on the entire store. So if I want everybody to go buy, like, just buy a mug. He didn't like the fit. He didn't like the fit. Well, it was a him problem. Yeah, okay. But I And then I reached out to him. And I said, if you want to exchange the large for an extra large, sure. fatty, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why you got, how'd you get two stars <laughs> no, with that kind of response? <laughs> Oh, I'm just teasing. I didn't I say that. I was very nice. So, um, so I would like everybody to buy just buy a mug. It's the cheapest thing in the store, nine dollars and ninety five cents. 
and then give us a great five star review. How old was the? And so this is brand new. Yeah, brand new. Oh, I thought this was like an old story from back in the day. You just started this store. Just started. Nice. Just started. And and there's like there's like little AirPod case covers. Those are the big sellers. Okay. And they're nineteen dollars and ninety five cents. And then, let me tell you, not making a lot of money on this. No, not at all. You know, but you are hand making all of these items. Yes, exactly. She is. In the She's back room. So tired. Cranking them out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my 3D printer. Right. Going to Your 20. screen printer, you're doing all of it. I am. It's it's like the rest of everybody on Etsy selling homemade things. Oh, yeah. They all mm-hmm. are homemade. Mm-hmm. Are. Mm-hmm. All right. Keyboard shortcuts. And this was kind of cool. Tell a story about Charles. Well, first, I'm 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 really on a heater with these sexy topics. Last week, we had the cords, mm-hmm. uh, the cables. This week, keyboard shortcuts. But no, this came up in a meeting because our programmer, Charles, our developer, he is a super smart guy. Yes incredibly tech savvy, right? Probably more than lots of us. And he said, I learned a keyboard shortcut from the current newsletter that I use every day now. Okay, and when he said (gasps) that, everybody's looking at him like going, whoa. I gasped out loud. I was thrilled to hear this. Was it control C? He's not that good. No, (laughs) it was, (laughs) oh, Andrew. It was actually to open up the snipping tool on a Windows computer. You don't have to go through the menu. You don't have to do a bunch of stuff. And we'll, I'll give that one in just a second, but I was looking it up. There was one study that said, if you use the basic keyboard shortcuts, you will save eight days a year if you spend your time working at a computer, right? So these things actually work. You don't have to go through all the silly menus. So for this one that Charles was talking about, it's Windows plus Shift plus S. And that opens up a little tool that you can snip whatever is on your screen. It's kind of like on a Mac, uh, what that one is, shift, command, and then four. And, and you, you just drag the little the box. Time. Oh my gosh. All every the time. Multiple times every day. I yeah. just learned that one last week. I <gasps> didn't even get the newsletter. Oh my gosh. Who told you? you like Should that? we find? <laughs> <laughs> You're someone, cheating on us. <laughs> someone in the office told me. They was, probably get the newsletter. Yes, they probably do. Because wow. I was like, where's the, you know, the thing to... Do the thing and the thing. And they're like, just do Windows, shift S. I was like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Is that how they sound? Yeah. Nice. She's okay. awful. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, there are some good ones if you're on a Mac. One that I use all the time. This actually works on Mac and Windows. Command tab or control tab. And that shifts you through all of your open programs. So instead of having to go into the dock or the bar or whatever, you can just see that's everything you have open. Do you use uh, Spotlight? On your Mac a lot? Yes. I use it constantly. You can find anything. Oh, anything. So it's not just like on a Windows computer that has truly the worst search functionality in the world. On a Mac, it's really great. So if you just hit command and then the space bar, you get this little thing that pops up. You can type anything in there. You could type in a math problem and it will solve it for you. Yeah, I mean, you could type in like looking for like an email. Yeah. Just a couple of words. Just It'll find anything. Yeah, it's incredible. That's probably, I do most of my work on a a Windows PC. That's my kind of main computer. I have a MacBook. That's the one thing that makes me keep my Mac because I love it so much. Do you know how many times I've used a Mac? How many? One time. One time? Why? And it was here. (gasps) Oh! Kim was going to do something and she's like, go on my computer and open a browser and do this thing for me. I had no idea. I didn't know where to go. <laughs> I'm like, what? There was a wheel happening. I had no, I've never, that's the only time I've ever used a Mac. He's like, in what's my this? What's life. this like rainbow ball going around? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she's like, just open Safari. I'm like, I don't even know how to find Safari. <laughs> what is it? Okay. And then one more YouTube. There are lots of good shortcuts. You probably know this. If you don't, you're going to say, Allie, how did I get this far? Uh, press the space bar to play and pause your videos. I thought it was K. I use K. K works too. Okay. Yeah. K or space. Both of those work. Uh, this is really cool. If you want to start a video from the beginning, hit zero, like the number zero, and it takes you all the way back to the beginning. You can also hit any number and it takes you to that percentage. So if you hit the two, you're going to go to 20% through the video. So if you're like, okay, I understand that you're putting a lot of work into this dresser. I just want to see the end result woodworker. Okay. Hit Nine. Eight, yeah. nine, yeah, and you'll go right to the end. Cool. Yeah. Well, Barry's gone down this rabbit hole on YouTube. Oh, boy. Where he's watching Korean street food videos. Oh. Like the ice cream guy who puts the ice cream out and then pulls it away, that one? <laughs> no, like, like, no. He, like, like um, dim sum and like, like doughy things. And I mean, I finally had to say, you know what? I don't want to see anymore. I mean, I don't mean to be mean, but I've seen three of them. Uh, this is not something I ever say, but in Barry's defense, um, 
those videos are actually pretty cool. Well, he's like amazed. Yeah. He's like, look at what, everything that they can do on that one <laughs> griddle. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I got a grill. Okay. I once watched a very long video of like a Japanese noodle cart, like their whole business day. And it was just like, you okay. get into it. Let's see if we can get Barry into mukbang videos. <laughs> You know what those are? Uh Uh-uh. That's people who take food, enormous amounts of food, like 70 bags of Doritos, and then eat them on camera live. It's disgusting. God, that's gross. Noodles is the worst. When people just sit there and do like 40 pounds of noodles, and they're just filthy a mess. Oh, they get millions of views. Oh, it's disgusting. It's like, I always wondered, like, the guy who always wins, like, the Coney Island Nathan hot dog, and he he just ate, like- Oh, that man's an athlete. Joey Chestnut? Yeah, yeah. but you'd think like he would be a big guy, but he's not. No, 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 no. He's no. super fit, and no one can even come close to him. No. Mm-mm. Incredible. He's a machine. Okay, so AI <laughs> is all over. It's over? No, no, no. Oh, it's it's I'm all sorry, over. AI. It's all over everywhere. Oh, fuck. That's apologize. what I meant. So I heard a song, and I thought, wow, this is really something. Okay, now, the person who's singing the song, uh, he was born in 1932. And he died in 2003. Okay. Mm-hmm. And now he's back. Hmm. This is a little more advanced than AI. Okay. So, this is resurrection stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's, let's just take a listen. Hello, I'm not Johnny Cash. So it's going to be forever. Or it's going to go <laughs> down in flames. You can tell me when it's over. If the high was worth the pain Got a long list of ex-lovers They'll tell you I'm insane Cause you know I love the player <laughs> Okay, so you get the whole gist of it. Amazing. That's Taylor Swift song. So that's Johnny Cash singing Taylor Swift. And it actually sounds way better. It, <laughs> okay, there's a YouTube channel that's called There I Ruined It. Okay. Okay, <laughs> just go there. Okay. And he has all these songs that... And these are all AI voices. All AI songs. And he's got like, I don't know, a million followers or something like that. But it's really interesting to me that... And it totally sounds like Johnny Cash. Oh, it really does. I don't know the name of the website, but there's a website. It's expensive. You have to have a a service fee where you just need one minute of audio. One minute of clean audio. Enter it into the AI, and then they can produce any sound. You never have to do your radio show again. Just put in... A half hour of Kim Commando. We tried that. And? Um, not to do the show, but to do the daily tech updates. Okay. okay. And so there was one package where I had to read, like, it was, it was, it was so incredibly difficult. I had to read like eight hours of Animal Planet Oh, wow. Scripts. <laughs> the cheetah went by the mouse <laughs> and got to the aardvark, you know, and there was a panda bear standing there. I mean, okay. So then it came out and whatever, so whatever you typed in, it was like, and then we went to break and thank you for being here. Okay. So then we went to a bigger company. Right. Veritone. And this is what they're known for. And trained again. Their AI took like uh, three hours maybe four hours. And then plus we gave them files from the show, Mm -hmm. files from podcasts. So I thought like we'd be able to get something really good. So uh, we have a really big affiliate, WTOP in Washington, DC. Okay. I mean, and it's the, that's the largest billing station in the entire country. Right. Wow. Uh, So when I got my eye done, uh, with the transplant, I took a couple of days off, obviously. How dare you? I know, right? Crazy. And so we used the AI to do the daily tech updates. And we had three stations that wrote back and said, is that Kim or is that AI? <laughs> oh, really? They can tell. <laughs> okay. And then there was one day where we did the digital life hack, and that's on WTOP, among other stations. They won't air it. They They totally know when it's... AI Kim. That's interesting because I listen to a radio show. It's on Sirius called Bennington. And they do a bit called AI or the real guy where they'll take a celebrity, play a quote from the real person or, and then play a quote from the AI and the people who call us have to call in. I never get them right. Really? Yeah. And I'm they surprised. had so much audio from you that they couldn't spit it out. Nope. And mm-hmm. make it sound realistic. Nope. We'll get there though. But I, and I'm surprised you couldn't figure it because you, you yeah. I mean, are so. That's what I do for a living. Yes, exactly. That you couldn't figure that out. No, they fool me all the time. Hmm. Well, we did fool Allie. How? Because we sent Allie a file. Do you remember that? Or we sent you a file where it was like, 
Allie, this is Kim. I am not happy with your performance. <laughs> you really thought it was her? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe I did. All right. So on that happy note, tell one person about the podcast and sign up for the newsletter. And thanks for being here. We'll see you again next time. This program is a copyrighted production of Westar Multimedia Entertainment and protected by the copyright laws. Any rebroadcast or use of this program for commercial, business, economic, or financial purposes without the written permission of Westar Multimedia Entertainment is strictly prohibited.